And another thing is called interleaving. And this is just basically like scrambling words up. Uh, every time you go around a track, the data is all scrambled up. So each time you have a track here, you're going around the circle. And so you have some data there and some data there. Well, you know, your data is in its different spots. But instead of keeping it there, then you can say you put this one over there, and this one goes over here, you put that one there. So you, it's kind of like saying if you have uh, God is love, the word. And then you come in and get a scratch, and you lose this. Well, now you might not be able to tell at all what it says. Now it says this love, and you're like, well, that doesn't make any sense because we didn't have that there. So with interleaving, then you might you move stuff around so you might have this G -E. E. and now if you lose some bits say you lose this E and uh, uh, it's S here then you'll come out and after you descramble de it then you can come back the other way and you have God and then you're easier to see well what what did we have initially and so that's another technique and then basically it just becomes really complex there's a lot of formatting that has to be done to make sure that your data can actually be read off correctly wow that completely blows my mind yeah i can see that so now that we have our digital data on the compact disc how does a compact disc player take that data and turn it back into something that we can hear once again. Well, you know, I'm only really just an analog to digital conversion professor. It's uh, it's always been a head scratch a little bit about the, the, this digital analog thing. And it's never really been able to grasp this over my head. So I think if uh, it goes to my colleague, with Dr. Dio Vogel, here, um, he could probably give an answer because he's specialized in the field for a long time. So I think he would give you a good one. Thank you for your time and your knowledge. It's been a pleasure. We have seen what a compact disc is made of and how sound is stored on a seemingly simple piece of plastic. To gain further knowledge, we must extract information from Dr. Diego Voga, Professor of Digital to Analog Conversion at the University of Technology. Dr. Vogel, I have spoken with your colleague, Dr. Kula, about how sound is put onto a compact disc. How then do we take that sound off of the compact disc and turn it into something that we can hear? Well, the first step is reading the CD. And this is accomplished with the laser. The laser is mounted on a track which moves from the inside to the outside of the CD. The spinning of the CD, along with the track system, allows the laser to read the entire CD. The way the laser works is it's emitted from a source, goes through a prism, and then hits the bumps on the CD, as you can see along here. When it hits a flat part of the aluminum, then it's reflected off the aluminum, hits the prism, goes into an optical pickup. And then, when the laser hits the edge of a bump, as you can see here, the laser is not reflected at all. This is due to interference. The way this works is the height of the bump is exactly one quarter the wavelength of the laser. And this causes the part of the laser that hits the flat to interfere and completely cancel out the part of the laser that hits the bump. And so no laser is reflected or refracted onto the optical pickup. So when we have the laser hitting a flat and it is completely reflected onto the optical pickup, this generates a current and is interpreted as a 1. And over here, when the laser is completely canceled out, no current is generated in the optical pickup and that is interpreted as a 0. Fascinating. So, a laser reads the ones and zeros and turns them into sound through magic? Well, not quite. The way it works is, you have your optical pickup here that is generating the ones and zeros, and it sends those ones and zeros, that stream of ones and zeros, to a decoder. And this decoder then removes all of the formatting 
which was the EFM and the 8 to 14 modulation. Then you have your pure sound data, which is then sent to a digital to analog converter. And this, from the other side, you have, or comes out an analog signal, which is then amplified and sent to a speaker, which generates the actual sound that you hear. So basically, what we've done is we've taken analog sound and converted it to digital data, put it on the compact disc, and then read by the laser, which takes the digital data off, and then converts it back into analog data, which is then the heard. Doesn't that, doesn't that seem a bit redundant? Couldn't you just keep it in analog form? Well, saving data digitally has many advantages, actually. For example, copies of digital data can be made over and over again without losing any quality. If you try to do that with analog data, that would not work at all because every time you make a copy of an analog signal, then a little bit of, you lose a little bit of quality. And also, now that data is handled almost exclusively by computers, saving it digitally is much more convenient. One last question. When it comes to DVDs and Blu-rays, what, what is the difference between those and compact discs? How can they hold so much more information? Well, the only difference really is in the laser. The DVD player has a much shorter wavelength laser than the CD player, and the Blu-ray player has an even shorter wavelength than the DVD player. And the laser is blue in color because the wavelength is so short. That's why it's called a Blu-ray player. The shorter wavelength allows the laser to be focused in on a much smaller spot, and this allows the data to be packed much more densely. Thank you for your time and your knowledge. You're very welcome. Let's review. The compact disc is composed of four layers, the polycarbonate layer, aluminium layer, acrylic layer, and label. Data is stored on a sequence of bumps arranged in a spiral shaped track. Sound, which is an analog signal, must be converted to digital data. This data is formatted to prevent reading errors and corruption of the data. A laser is used to read the data on a compact disc. The data read by the laser is run through a decoder, converted to an analog signal in a digital to analog converter, amplified and finally put through a speaker. Come back next week to find out where junior mints come from. Thank you for your time and remember, it's not science, it's magic. Mm -hmm.